This is our week on Chain Dashboard. Now, many of the concepts we go through here, it's kind of a summary of what you'll see in that uh, in that. Uh, full framework. As you can see, that was quite a comprehensive dashboard and there's a lot of panels in there to help guide people through just how to think about the mechanics. And more importantly, how do we see those mechanics playing out in the on-chain data? So just a couple of ideas to, to get us started. But anyway, let's jump back into it. We're going to start with that first chart, actually, the Euphoria Zone. Now, um, we're only doing this but just to see, you know, we have now broken above the previous all-time high. So we are now in the fourth phase of price discovery. Um, I would say that, you know, this is kind of the genesis period where it hasn't really broken an all-time high because it never really had one. Um, following that first bear market in 2011, yes, we got a double pump, but this is kind of one break. Uh, so let's call it breaking the 2011 all-time high. We then broke the 2013. This is when Mt. Gox went down. And I mean, this was probably a pretty scary bear. I wasn't around for this time, um, but it took us uh, over two, well, actually three years um, from 20, uh, 2013 all the way through to the back half of 2016-17 before we broke up and above. We then had our 2021 break of the $20,000 all-time high. So this would put us at our fourth, uh, fourth all-time high break. So um, as I mentioned at the start, it's it becomes increasingly difficult to call something a bubble and a Ponzi scheme when uh, things break through all-time high and the market just consistently says, well, maybe not. 